Hi, I'm Paul from pdhsports.com, leading online racket specialist, and today I'm looking at three new shoes from Adidas. So we've got the Adidas Stabil Next Gen, the Adidas Crazy Fight, and the Adi Zero Fast Court. I wanted to talk a little bit about these three shoes as I've um, <clears throat> now experienced playing in them and the fit, and I thought it'd be really useful to get some more information over to the customers to help with your purchasing. So first of all, probably the most famous shoe that Adidas does is the, the Next Gen Stabil. So the Stabil range of shoes has been around for a long, long time. Um, with this shoe, you get the Boost technology. So Boost technology is, is fantastic. It's the most cushioning you can get. So this shoe is mainly suited to somebody that's wanting a lot of support, a lot of comfort, and a softer feeling shoe. So one thing to bear in mind with the next gen Stabil is it has like the built-in uh, tong system. So what we have experienced is some people uh, do find it not particularly easy to get on. So you have to have, I would say, a slightly narrower um, foot size to, to be able to cope with this kind of shoe. Now, <clears throat> my personal favorite is the Adi Zero Fast Court. Now I've recently started wearing this shoe. So the difference between the two is the the Fast Court is basically aimed as a speed shoe. So it's their most responsive shoe. So they use a slightly different technology called Light Strike. Now the Light Strike for me still has amazing cushioning, but it's far more responsive and the shoe as a whole is a little bit lighter. So I mean I'm a fairly big guy I generally am looking for a supportive shoe, but what I find with the Fast Court is that it has the support, but it's not feeling like particularly heavy and I'm able to move quickly. And every time I make any kind of foot movement, when I want to go in a direction, the shoe will respond very, very quickly. And unlike some shoes where you will find that there's like no response, no support on the top, the one thing I did find is that if I move like to the left and the it's not a case where you feel like your foot will roll over. It literally, the shoe just responds and moves. So this is the shoe that is potentially offering the least cushioning, the least support. But I personally, from my personal experience, I would say that it still offers a fantastic support and a fantastic cushioning, but not as much as if you want the the, the out and out cushioning with the boost technology but say you do pay for the fact that it's slightly heavier so it, it's in my eyes it's not as fast as the fast court and then sitting in the middle is the crazy flight so this again is kind of where adidas would pitch it as their most all round so it's got a little bit of of both these shoes this one does go back to the boost technology but it's across like the midsole so, um, and the exciting thing with this shoe is it's also now the shoe that Paul Cole has recently signed to use. So world number three currently, um, you know, obviously he's renowned as um, a fantastic mover, fantastic athlete, and um, he has chosen out of all the shoes, the crazy flight. And, and we've actually got some more videos coming out where we did um, do some interviews and he talked about this shoe. So three um fantastic options so you've got out and out speed best all rounder in the crazy flight best for con cushioning um these two are the most where i'd say like normal fit like i've got quite it's fairly wide foot but it's quite flat so it's flat that way and i had no problem getting into this shoe um adidas are often renowned as a very narrow fit so um, whereas the, the next gen is just a little bit too narrow for me. Um, and one thing I did say, they don't come up particularly big. So um, I'm normally like a size 12 and I can just about squeeze in lengthwise. I maybe should go to a 12 and a half. Whereas other brands I'm often, I would never go above a 12 and a half. So, uh, so sorry, above a size 12. So just something to consider, slightly smaller fit. But I would say both these two are not, overly narrow compared to like this one I find is is um, a little bit narrower so there you go so hopefully a little bit of an insight into the three flagship indoor court shoes from Adidas and of course these are all available at pdhsports.com mm -hmm.